blood. I didn't realize it.
Okay, I've got a bit of a confession to make. Uh, when Luke was here shooting the video footage on this, uh, we did just one side so I could get all the video footage needed for this. And then he left and I flipped it over to carve the other side. The only problem was I carved one side right side up and I carved the other side upside down. And I got so mad at myself for that because it was just such a simple thing just to make sure that one side was right side up um, and the other side was also right side up at the same time and not reversed. <laughs> and I'd finished all the carving on the other side and I, I kind of got to the point where I had a couple options. Number one, I could throw the whole thing away and make a whole new one, even after I'd done all the carving on both sides. Uh, number two, I could cut it in half, rotate one of the sides, glue them back together. But the problem with that is it would be too thin to then put in lag screws. Or number three, I could cut it in half and resaw the whole thing down this way and then put in another piece of material in here. But I got so mad at everything that was going on, I didn't shoot any of that video footage. So that's basically what I did. I did resawing and re-sliced this whole thing down and then slid another piece inside and there we go. So now this is a good bit thicker, but there's enough material here I can put two screws into it and it will hang nicely there and no one will ever know the difference. Uh, except for those of you watching the video. <laughs> yes, everyone makes mistakes, uh, but in this case, I was so mad at what I was doing that I forgot to turn the video on to show the resawing and gluing it back together. Um, so you don't get to see that, but here is the rest of it. So we're gonna continue on from here.
Have a good day. So there you have it. I am in love with how this came out. It is exactly what I was looking for. I love the proportions and the design on it. This is this has made me very, very happy. I think the only thing I might change is if I can get a slightly bigger light, just something about that big. Uh, it would be great, but this is one of the largest ones I could find with the solar on it. Now, if you like this and you'd like to see more how-to and actually talking through it and describing the steps, I have a whole second channel devoted to the how-to aspects. This is more of the artistic channel. You can go over to Wood by Right 2. There's a link down below as well as up in the cards, and you can find out more there. Also, if you'd like to see the timber framing of this, I did a video on that two weeks ago. I'll try and leave a link to that down below as well. This is one of the projects that I have just been looking forward to for years. I've been thinking about it for about three years, and I'm, I'm just overjoyed with how it came together. This is exactly what I was looking for, and I'm excited. I don't know if you can tell that. If you do have any questions, thoughts, or ideas, let me know down below. And also, if you did like it, please like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and do all those fun things. That really helps out the channel, and thank you for that. So I think that's about it for now, and until next time, have a wonderful day. Oh, wait. What's that? A dad joke book. Interesting, let's see what it says. It says, how does a farmer mend the holes in his jeans? Well, with his cabbage patch, of course.